Welcome to another webinar presented by our hometown. Today, President and CEO Matt Larson speaks with Emily Bradbury of the Kansas Newspaper Foundation on their 2022 Digital Initiative, a strategy to get every paper in Kansas online with a mobile responsive website, metered paywall, and ad network. All right, everyone, welcome to July's Brown Bag and BS. I am here with Matthew Larson of our hometown, and he is going to tell us about an exciting initiative that we are partnering with our hometown on, and the Kansas Newspaper Foundation has implemented a new digital initiative project. And I would just like to introduce Matthew Larson, and thank you for coming and partnering with us today. And I turn it over to you. All right. Thanks so much, Emily. I appreciate it. Um, again, my name is Matt Larson. I'm the president of our hometown. And uh, yeah, this project, the digital initiative uh, with the Kansas Newspaper Foundation is something I've been working with Emily uh, and Amber on for a while. And, um, you know, we're really excited to bring this to you today. It's it's finally a reality. And basically the strategy here is to get every paper in Kansas online. Uh, if you don't have a website, get, getting your site online, first of all. If your site is not mobile responsive, making it that way, uh, getting metered paywalls set up where folks, uh, you know, are looking for that kind of model and also an ad network. So, you know, it's kind of a, a big initiative. It's got a lot of mo moving parts. I'm going to break it down right now. Basically, though, the problems at a high level that we can address are, you know, if you don't have a website today, number one. Um, so let, let's let's do a little poll here. Actually, do we have a chat? Uh in the chat area, if you don't have a website today, or if any of these don't apply to you, just uh, type the one that doesn't apply into the chat. Let's see if we can get uh, some feedback here. Are any of your sites not mobile responsive or not, not mobile friendly, meaning you know they have to pinch and zoom to view the text? Um, do you have, any of you have static sites? Uh, this is a very common issue, folks. You know they, they've set up a site years ago, but just kind of fell out of the the rhythm of updating it every week. Uh, it's we find it's very important for a successful weekly newspaper website to be updated each week. So that's something that we can also address with this program. Um, anyone here that has a paid print newspaper but no paywall on the website, this is something that I've. Uh, encountered quite a bit, you know, with publishers, they're restrained by their technology and they're letting that guide their, uh, you know, digital revenue strategy and, you know, just not putting up all the content for that reason or, or somehow adjusting their whole strategy because they can't get the paywall working. That's something that is baked into our uh, platform and would just be part of the website. Um, how many of you are not currently posting public notices online? That's something that we would also help with you know, we would just uh, post that just like we do all the articles from the PDF. Okay, so those are some of the, the issues that we're going to be addressing here. Now, let me explain exactly what this initiative is. In, in the next 30 minutes, approximately, we'll be discussing, you know, the uh, Kansas Newspaper Foundation Digital Initiative Grant and how, uh, you know, what what's going to, what well, basically how, how this is going to be no cost to you as a publisher for the first year. Um, and we'll talk more about that whole breakdown. But uh, our digital revenue strategy, we're going to break down exactly how we monetize your content. Uh, we'll go through the website features and also the publishing services, uh, the funding model, and how to apply. So just a little bit on webinar logistics. This is a live webinar. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to type them in the chat or uh, you, know, you can raise your hand to speak if you uh, want to be a part of it. Um, okay, so what is the KNF Digital Initiative? Basically, again, the objective to get all newspapers in Kansas online. Um, first of all, we start you off with a website template and an archive import. So we'll build a brand new website on WordPress. And uh, then we will also update the website for you each week with content from the print PDF. So, you know, this is a totally turnkey program. Even if you have no website today, you're not going to actually have to do any more work to manage this website. We, we will do all the updating for you. Um, also, the goal here is to monetize the, enga the engaged audience with recurring digital subscriptions and with a metered paywall. So basically, we want to direct the traffic. Uh, to the the website instead of wherever it's going now. It might be going to social media. 
Uh, we want to get that to a website. And then, uh, you know, the people that are going there the most are going to end up paying for a subscription because the metered paywall will run out, you know, fairly quickly for them. Then we take the casual traffic, the audience that maybe does, you know, never actually pays for a subscription. We all know that there's some portion of the audience that will never pay. They'll use up the meter and then they just won't come back until they can uh, get more free views. We can still monetize those views with an ad network. So th this model is really designed to, to catch everyone and uh, you know not leave any money on the table. I'll tell you more about the ad network shortly. Uh, and then finally, the goal is to, once we have the website set up and you know the whole production kind of in place there, uh, we want to grow the website traffic by automating social media marketing. And that's a really key point here because a lot of you, if you don't have a website now or if your website isn't updated regularly, you know, maybe you find it easier to publish on Facebook because it's just an easier system to use than your website. And so a lot of you probably have a, a significant resource there in your Facebook audience. And we just need to drive that to the website. And I'll talk about this more in a minute, but there's no cost to the publisher for the first year for this program. Uh, and the second year, it's only going to cost uh, half of the website. So uh, KNF will cover the other half. And then in the third year, you would take over 100% of the costs. But the, the reason we designed it like this is because we wanted that runway to get the website fully profitable before there were any costs to you as the publisher. Okay, so... Starter website, core features and services, WordPress platform. Uh, this is a proprietary uh, system that we've built. It's, it's based on the WordPress CMS, but it's really customized for newspapers right out of the box. It's got digital subscriptions built in, web ads, so you can run any ads that you want to sell directly to local advertisers. But part of the ad net, the web ad feature is an ad network. So from day one, we'll be running those ad network ads. Uh, just in any remnant space that's available. So again, you don't need to even sell ads uh, for the website. You can just run the ad network, but it's always an option to replace those with you know, a higher uh, paying ad. Um, E-edition PDF viewer, that's uh, part of the core features because we see that as key to bringing you know, the print audience over and really getting them comfortable using the digital edition. Um, and then the full service digital publishing, this is what I was talking about where you don't actually have to update the website. You're not going to do any more work each week. We literally just need you to FTP us the PDF pages, um, the same way you send them to the printer and we will update the website for you. And so in this, uh, just for some numbers, uh, I'm going to just estimate 12 pages per week as like an average weekly. And you'll see why that's important in a minute. Um, the last component is the social media auto post that is core to the whole strategy because that's going to automatically every story that we publish on the website for you will be automatically shared on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, which are the, the main ones. There's a few other social networks we can publish to, but those are the ones where newspapers usually have an audience. And so then that traffic will be directed to the website. Now, just to give you an idea for a new customer coming to our hometown to have all these features and have about 12 pages extracted each week, it would be about $362 a month uh, for all the, that service. It's going to be no cost to uh, Kansas uh, publishers that are part of this program for the first year. And as I'll talk about in a minute, the second uh, year, it, it would be a 50% um, grant that would be coming from KNF. So you'd be paying half of our hometown costs. Um, and we will go over this all in detail. Like if you want to sign up for the program and apply, you know, we'll build you a prototype. We'll give you a, you know, a full estimate of what the cost would be long-term after year two. So you know what's coming, but uh, there really is no risk to getting involved. You can do it for the first year. And if for whatever reason you're not happy, you don't need to continue with our hometown. There's, there's no long-term contracts. Um, many other features available and ad additional costs. We've got a lot of bells and whistles like audio articles and native apps, but we don't see those as key to launching a brand new website. Those are things that you want to add on in the kind of future releases of the website and, and build PR around them uh, separately. Okay, so again, I've, I've 
referenced this a couple of times, but just to clearly state, um, KNF will pay 100% of the website costs. So, you know, that's the website hosting for the features and for our production costs of extracting the pages. Um, second year, they'll pay for 50% of the costs and the publisher would pay the other 50%. And then in the third year is when you would officially transfer to become an Our Hometown customer. Uh, it wouldn't be until that point that we would need a uh, contract with the publishers. Um, so, you know, you wouldn't really need to commit at all until the third year. And, uh, you know, at that point, then you just pay us directly. Um, full service web publishing. I just like to have this visual up here. I've described it a couple of times now, but just so that, you know, um, it's fully clear. Literally, it's a three-step process, and you're done at step one. You send us the print PDF, and you're done. But what is going on on the back end is we're using some proprietary software to strip apart the PDF, and then we have uh, ops people that go in and tag the articles as you know the correct category and sort of associate the headlines with the right pictures and that sort of thing, and then turns every one of those stories into an HTML article. So you'll have the PDF version, you'll have the desktop version, and uh, right here's the e-edition, and you can see that this is an HTML version of that same article from the homepage. And then here's the mobile responsive website. And thank you, Emily. Uh, we just dropped the digital initiative um, link application in the chat. Um, a couple FAQs that we've had, because we've done this program now, um, Kansas is the third. They are true pioneers in this area. Um, right after uh, Virginia and Illinois, we've launched programs just like this. And, uh, you know, a very common question is how long does it take to get the website launched? Uh, that's going to be between three and four weeks. Uh, if you have no website now, you just need to send us your PDF archives. We could turn it around in about a week. But, you know, it just depends on usually uh, how long it takes for us to get the materials needed from the publisher. So very quick turnaround. And then each week when you're sending us the PDF to convert them to text articles, that takes only an hour. So we just need to know about when to expect the files and we'll have a, a rep standing by to do the extraction. Um, okay, Courier Record is another paper in Virginia. Um, here's just uh, you know the three different views from different devices. Uh, some of the questions that he, the publisher there had uh, when he was getting started, can I sell print, digital, and combo subscriptions through the website? Yes. And here's a really exciting thing. Uh, we're, we just announced this uh, new feature. We have an integration with Naviga uh, so that you can uh, keep sync your print and digital subscriptions automatically with your uh, print circulation system. And we can you know, develop other uh, processes for if, if you use other uh, print circulation systems. But the, the point is you can sell any type of subscription on the website. Um, and then how do we generate traffic to the website from social media? Again, that's the social auto post. So um, just to really break this down one step at a time, we would publish each article from the PDF as an individual HTML article on WordPress. And then we put it into this social media template that can just be automatically shared on all platforms and it, with no action on your part. So um, it's not even it's it's even better than something like buffer or scheduling posts on Facebook, which does save time. You do all the things in bulk. This is just completely automated. So um, you know you really couldn't get any better setup uh, for your social media marketing because it's like social media. We we know we have to be there, but there's no real money there. You know, so uh, we we just set that up for you. Um, the Facebook opportunity. I just want to drive this point home. Many publishers, if you look at your Facebook audience, it's probably in the thousands. If you don't have a website, then you know your audience has been looking for you on the internet and they found you on Facebook if that's the only place that you're posting uh, content. And uh, you know, certainly if you're posting full uh, image galleries now, you know, those generate a lot of interest on Facebook. So, you know, that you probably have a very valuable resource there. Um, again, yeah. A lot of the publishers that I've worked with with these digital initiatives, they they posted entire articles as posts sometimes. So they they got a lot of likes and a lot of followers, but haven't been able to monetize it. 
We then monetize that audience by directing it from through the auto posts um, to uh, the website. Again, kind of covered this already, convert the Facebook audience to paying subscribers. That's obviously the preference, but if we can't get them to subscribe, then we still monetize them with the ad network. Um, this one case study from uh, Indiana was really interesting. They had 20,000 followers on Facebook, mainly because they had no website, but they they were posting almost everything from the paper on the Facebook page. And then we just were able to turn on the auto post and within two weeks of enabling that the the traffic from website uh, from Facebook increased 50 times so um I've got a quick video here for you if you um let's see how we're doing on time we're doing fine so uh this is just a short testimonial from a recent interview that we did with some publishers uh in Virginia and I thought it would be interesting for you all to hear directly from them so this is just a little highlight reel Customer updates from the VPA Digital Initiative. This episode of Today in News Tech is made possible with audio articles by OurHometown.com. Today we're highlighting two customer stories on their initial experiences as part of the Virginia Press Association and Our Hometown's Digital Initiative. We hear from Steve Weddle of the VPA, Lisa Watson McCarty, publisher at Scott County, Virginia Star, and Billy Colburn, publisher at Courier Record. Working with y'all at our hometown, one of the things that Virginia Press Association wanted to do was make sure that the newspapers had, like we've said, some runway. So I think that the three-year program is, you know, is, is key here. And I, I know because having spoken with y'all a number of times, it has been a good experience for you with the digital initiative. And I'll say this too, as a, as a rule, uh, you know, whatever you belong to, whether it's a country club or a chamber of commerce, people are always asking you know, what benefit do I get out of it? And I can honestly say, um, and I'm, this is not just because I'm a former board member. Uh, this is one of the, to me, one of the most, uh, the biggest benefits that the VPA has ever offered its members, not to mention the lobby and fighting for the public notices and all that. Uh, this is a big deal. Uh, and most of the papers I would venture to say are rural slash suburban in the Virginia Press Association. We, we know who the big papers are, but all across the Commonwealth, there are papers like leases in mind with, with a staff of between four and seven people that are overworked. You're always worried about, God forbid, if someone leaves, then we're back at, you know, just, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm more upbeat. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm more upbeat and optimistic and, and less intimidated by the, the great vast internet than I, I've ever been. I'm 53 years old, college educated, uh, have a strong online presence, but now I'm starting to see, Hey, we can monetize this baby. We can we can do it. Yep, absolutely. Thanks. Let for me add, if if this sixty one year old woman can figure out how to do it, anybody <laughs> can do it. Because I didn't know anything about it, but our hometown has done a fantastic job, and it's so easy. Everything they tell you to do, you do it, and it's simple. And you're and then you look like the New York Times, if that's what you want to be, the New York Times. <laughs> but they are fantastic. Great. That's great. So yeah, just to quickly follow up uh, on those two case studies, um, let's see, Billy uh, down there at the Courier Record, he had a website before. So just uh, again to paint the picture for you know folks that could benefit from this program, he had a website, but uh, he wasn't able to get a paywall working the way he wanted, so he would only post teasers on the site. Um, and Lisa's uh, website hadn't been updated in a few years. So they both did have websites. They had a digital footprint, but practically speaking, the, the website wasn't there. So um, that's the, the, those are folks that we can help. But definitely we want to get everyone that doesn't have a website online as soon as possible. So if you're in any one of those cases, please um, consider the next steps. Applying for a grant with that link that Emily dropped in the chat is the first step. Uh, once you get accepted, then uh, we just need a recent PDF of the paper. Um, technically, you'll just go to this website and send it to our email. We'll create a rapid prototype on WordPress. Um, we'll send it to the publisher. We'll have a one-on-one -on -one meeting just on Zoom, just like this. Go over that um, and uh, basically launch on their domain. We can help you purchase a domain if you don't have one or get access to anything that you may have uh, on GoDaddy. Um, let's see. Yeah, we will redirect or help you purchase. So um, yeah, that's that's basically uh, 
how you get started. So um, we're looking to to get this rolling by the end of the month or in the next couple of weeks, Emily. So um, please apply as soon as possible. Um, yeah. We'd love to have you. Yes, Matthew, thank you so much. We really yep. appreciate that. That was thank that you. was the sweet and simple steps. And I know some of right. you had to get on late. And so I'm going to be sending you the recording of this presentation. We simply just want to get our newspapers online in websites that are responsive and also can be able to be monetized for you. So even if you have a website now, and like Matthew said, that one paper that couldn't get the paywall to work, so they just couldn't get the functionality the way they wanted it to, right. you don't have to not have a website now to apply for this grant. This can right. be something that says that you want to go to a website that's fully functional. And this helps serves our purpose at the KPA by making sure public notices, right? We're asking right. you to, you know, to post the KansasPublicNotices.com website, you know, on your front page before the pay pre paywall. So, you know, we really are wanting to help. This is not going to only help you as a member get online in a website that's a easy for you to use. And two, um, to be able to make sure that when we hear at the legislature, well, we want to be able to see them online. Well, we also have an answer here too. So, and we just wanted to really come with a kind of a, like Matthew said, a turnkey solution, because we know that everyone is so strapped for time. We did not want to present you with a product that was going to take a person half a day every week to figure this out. All you have to do is send the paper, the PDF to Matthew and he and his staff will handle it. Right. So that's why we partner with our hometown. There's a pretty tight turnaround on this grant. KNF wants to give this money away. So the deadline is actually next Friday at five o'clock. But the good thing is, is that you guys get the application today because you are on <laughs> this webinar and it's a short application. It will take you maybe five minutes to fill out. So it's not really hard. It's just a Google form. Um, you just give us a little bit of information about where you're at um, and your name and publication name and all of that. Know that you understand understand what this means is that you're going to have a website from our hometown for the first year. And like Matthew said, this is not a, com a three-year commitment. If after a year, you're like, I don't, I don't know, I don't like this or, you know, which our hometown is so confident in their product that they're not making anyone sign contracts. They think right. you'll be happy. But after a year, if you say, Hey, I, I can't commit to two more years of this, there's no contract that you have to break. Right not a problem. Yep. So we'll just find another paper that wants to get a website and give them maybe that second year grant. <laughs> right. So it is, it is not a huge obligation for you as a KPA member, but we wanted to make sure that we had an explanation video. And like I said, I'm going to send this video to you later this afternoon, once it's been processed. So you can kind of look it over because we've thrown a lot of information at you, but just know that this is just an offering from the newspaper foundation that we are literally giving you a free website for the first year. Right. And and the great thing about it is that our hometown really thinks they can help you monetize it. So the second year is 50%. And then on the third year, you're on your own. But by then, we hope that you can, it can have paid for itself. So it'll be a revenue neutral or hopefully a revenue positive right. um, product that you have there in your arsenal. So is there anything you want to add before we go, Matthew? Um, I just had a quick question. I clicked on that link and it might just be me, but I, I got this message. Okay. Um, let me see. It's all fun. And it's all fun until it doesn't work. Right. Well, if maybe someone on the call, it says it's only uh, a organ, uh, owner's organization. If someone listening could click on it and see if you get the same thing. Uh, another member. Let me see here. And let us know in the chat. Yeah, absolutely. And what I will do, I'll take a look at that and then yeah, no I'll problem. make sure. Yeah. And I will make sure and email that to everyone. Like I said, it's all fun until the filters <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah. absolutely. So what I will do is I will go ahead and just send this to everyone um, okay. after we get off the call here, figure out what's wrong with that. Oh, need okay. permission. Okay, Tammy, I will get that to you. I have everyone's email address that's on the call or that was going cool. to be on the call. I will send the recording. I will send the updated link and August 5th is the deadline. So fill it out as soon as possible. Even if you're like, I don't know, go ahead and fill it out. Right. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know or let Matthew know and we will get right back to you. Right. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you so much, Emily. Yeah, and my email is at the beginning of the presentation. We've been doing this over 26 years. Uh, really looking forward to uh, working with you all. So thanks. Fantastic. Again, well, thank right. you so much. And a quick word to our papers. I know this week has been crazy for you guys, and you've got an election coming up next week. So right. 
we're in there with you. Um, hang in there and we will talk to you soon. Great. Thank Great. you. Thank you, Emily. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for today's webinar. For more information on these press association partnerships, visit our hometown.com slash digital initiative. Please follow, like, or subscribe to our social media channels to keep up with all the latest from our hometown.